Hey, what's up? Mark here from the Backpacking Gear Net. Today, I am going to review the REI Helix sleeping pad. Now, I know you'll find this pad interesting, especially for the price. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see all the good and the bad about it so that you can know if this pad is right for you. But in the meantime, please click that like and subscribe so that we can get this content out to more people. Now, until recently, I've been a college professor for many years and I now have a passion for helping people like you to connect with nature comfortably. If you're not comfortable, you won't keep going out and enjoy God's beautiful creation. This sleeping pad, when it's packed up, is about the size of a Nalgene water bottle. Now, it comes with this stuff sack that it's in. And when you take it out, you have the sleeping pad and they've got this nice little Velcro strap around it to hold it together. Now, typically I don't like Velcro straps just because they can be heavy, but I found with this one, it doesn't change the weight much and it's really great for holding the pad together. I typically do not take the stuff sack with me, so I'm able to shed a little bit of weight that way. So there's the pad, and I'll show you again with the, with the Nalgene bottle. Inside your stuff sack, you get a pump sack that is nice and large, and you also get some patches. Now let's talk about what style pad this is. This pad is a mummy style pad. That means as it goes from the head end of the pad to the foot end of the pad, there's a slight taper that goes down. Now the taper on this isn't as extreme as some mummy style pads, and I don't feel like my feet fall off or anything like that. It feels like I got plenty of space and they were able to shave some weight that way, which is good. Now the pad comes in three sizes. It comes in regular, which is 72 inches by 20 inches. It comes in regular wide, which is 72 inches by 24 inches. And it comes in long wide, which is 78 inches by 24 inches. Now you might go 24 inches. Most pads are, when they're a wide pad are 25 inches. I can't tell the difference on this personally between the 24 and 25 inches. I don't feel like I'm missing the inch. Now I am at six foot one and I am quite a big guy. So um, the fact that I can sleep plenty comfortable on here and not feel like the pad is too narrow um, is great. So the regular size pad is one pound, five ounces. The regular wide is one pound, 10 ounces, and the long wide is one pound, 13 ounces. Now I should say that my particular pad here is the long wide. So I've got the, the bigger pad, which makes sense. I'm a bigger guy. And the thickness of the pad is three inches. Now this pad has a 4.9 R value. That is fantastic for what this pad is. It's got dual reflective insulation as a way to keep it insulated, which makes it lighter. And when you lay on this, you can actually feel the heat reflecting back to you. Now this mat has a dual valve system. One valve will let all the air out quickly. The other valve has a back check valve on it so that you can only let air in and you can't let air out. Now, the nice thing about that back check valve is I'm able to just barely push on it a little bit when I'm laying on the mat so that I can adjust the softness of the mat to make it comfortable for me. Now there's no information on the REI website as to exactly what the material of this mat is, but it's a very durable material and it feels nice on my skin. So it's got a good balance of durability and also um, plushness and softness for comfort. This pump sack, it snaps on pretty nicely, but I will warn you, it frequently comes off while I'm pumping it up. But since it's got the back chuck valve, it doesn't lose any air. So when I blow the sack up to put air in it, you'll see that the valve is at the bottom of the sack. Now they put it off to the side 
but it's still at the bottom. And what that means is when you push down that the fabric, if it touches the ground, it'll stop it from letting air in, usually when you first get started a few times. And so I tend to have to put my feet under the mat to make sure that it can't push down so much that it blocks, that it blocks the air. It's got a quilted pattern on this, a lot like a Sea to Summit or something like that. It's got this quilted pattern, and I find this quilted pattern to be very, very comfortable because just these tiny little spots on here will depress and it will form around my body in a way that really cradles it and supports it and relieves pressure. Now, everybody who watches my channel knows that my favorite mat at this point is the Repeat SL. I would say that this is very close to how comfortable the Repeat SL is. The only thing I like that this doesn't have is the Repeat SL has outer ribs that actually are raised a little bit higher by a half inch so that it cradles you in it. That way, when you get close to the edge, it doesn't feel like you're close to the edge. It feels like the mat's bigger than it really is. But the way it's got the welds on it in order to create the quilted pattern, it actually is offset on the other side. So the way it is on one side, the other one is right at the center of the hump on the opposite side. What that does is it makes it so that you don't have any spots that are touching each other because in those spots that are touching each other, you wouldn't have as much insulation. So this particular design works really well for keeping the insulation even throughout the entire pad with no cold spots. And like I said, I've slept really warm. Now, if you don't know about how the R values work, the lower the R value, the less warm the pad is. The higher the R value, the warmer the pad is. Now an R value of 4.9 is something you can easily take semi four season camping. I may simply, if I was on the snow, throw a closed celled foam pad under it so that it would bring the R value up by two. Um, and then that would make this about the same R value as the X-Therm. It feels nice to the touch, and that's great for someone like me. I sleep in a quilt most of the time. I do have sleeping bags for certain things, but I 90% of the time sleep in a quilt, and I tend to sleep just in my skivvies. And so when I sleep on this in my skivvies, it doesn't feel harsh on my skin. It feels very plush and comfortable. So. I really like that about this material. And like I said, this material is very durable. Um, I've only actually punctured it one time. And it's right here. And I used the included patch that came with it. And it's never leaked from the puncture. Now, the puncture was created by me, not by laying on the ground or anything like that. I accidentally rolled it over with my office chair. I had to sleep in my office for two weeks because I had COVID and I didn't want to spread it to the rest of my family. So if it wasn't for that darn office chair attacking it, it would, uh, it would not have a hole in it. So I don't think you're going to have to worry when you get this out into the back country. Um, it's, it's going to be just as durable as, as other pads that you can trust. So. The Sea to Summit, if you're a Sea to Summit fan, this pad right here, I would say you would love it because the Sea to Summit quilting system um, is a lot like how this is, except for I like the fabric better on this than the Sea to Summit because the Sea to Summit feels sticky to my body and it squeaks a lot. This, this fabric doesn't squeak like that and it doesn't feel sticky to my body. So this is one up on the Sea to Summit. Two up is my Sea to Summit Ether Light is not even in the 4R value. It's at 
it's at like a 3.2 or something. And this one is a 4.9. You will sleep so much warmer on this mattress than you will on the Sea to Summit, which is great for people who sleep cold. Then they can actually have something that keeps them extra toasty. Down below is a link to my store so that if you're a backpacking gear nut like me, you can get a backpacking gear nut t-shirt. And if you know somebody who's a backpacking gear nut, well, you can get one for them too. It's a way to support the channel. And click here for more pads that I have reviewed and click over here for whatever it is that YouTube thinks you should watch. I'll see you on the next one.